Okay, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Uh, I will be discussing this morning the concept of the unadjustable back boost converter. Uh, converter meaning uh, the input voltage will be a DC and the output voltage will be a DC. So it is the so-called uh, DC to DC converter. So I will be discussing uh, what is a back Bose converter. If we try to define what is a back Bose converter, a uh, back Bose converter the adjustable one the output voltage could either be higher or lower than the input voltage uh, I will give you an illustration number one <coughs> if I will apply 11.9 volts on the input of the back bus converter this is the input side okay uh, i will be getting the voltage source of this one from my adjustable power supply uh 11.9 volts and as you can see it the output voltage from the lcd is 5 volts so th that is from um, the definition of the back bus converter Meaning to say, if the bolt, the applied voltage on the input is uh, greater, uh, by manipulating a rheostat on the converter, we could adjust the voltage to be lower than the input voltage, like like this one here, this 11.9. Uh, the output voltage now is uh, 5 volts. Actually, I didn't bring out yet the output terminal. Uh, the output terminal is uh, this Bluetooth here. I don't have any load here for the meantime, but uh, at least the converter is showing the output voltage supposed to be, if we try to measure the voltage here, it should come out as 5 volts. Okay? Oh, well, that's the first condition of the back boost, meaning if the input voltage is higher, uh, we could uh, make the voltage lower by adjusting a potentiometer. This is the adjustment for the voltage. Okay. Uh, if we try to the if we try to go to the uh, other condition that is from a higher voltage. Okay. And we would like that the output to be greater than the input voltage. We could do it by simply adjusting this one here okay so i will rotate this one counterclockwise and as you can see it of course the input voltage is 11.9 and if i would like to increase the output voltage i will just rotate this uh this one here the potentiometer here so as i am adjusting this one rotating clockwise Actually, I am increasing the voltage. Okay. Uh, let's try to see if uh, we could output the voltage greater than 11.9. Okay. It is now 7 volts. It's almost 8 volts. It's 8 volts now. So this uh, back bus convert is, converter is very flexible.
uh, whatever voltage uh, you will be needing, uh, you could make your output voltage uh, equivalent to that required voltage by just simply rotating this uh, rheostat over here. Okay, the input voltage is 11.9. And if we try to go to the other definition, uh, the input voltage or the output voltage could be greater than the output voltage. The output voltage now is uh, 11 volts, okay? So we applied 11.9 and uh, we could output a higher voltage on the, on, the, on the output side here by just rotating this rheostat here. That's 11.7, right? So it's greater than 11.9 now, okay? Oh, that's 13 volts. You see it, guys? We applied an 11.9, and due to the versatility of this back boost converter, uh, due to this uh, rheostat over here, we could make the output voltage greater than 11.9. So meaning to say, if we got a load here that requires uh, 13 volts or 13.09, that's it. So this is very flexible. Okay. Uh, if we try to adjust again the applied voltage, uh, I will try to lower down this one. Okay, I will place it at 6 volts, 6 volts, six, that's 6 volts, right? That's 6 volts, the output is uh, 13.07 volts, so meaning to say even if your input voltage is low, Okay, due to the versatility of this back boost converter, it could output a 13.07 volts. But uh, the condition is uh, we increase the voltage, the voltage is increased, but the current should be lower. Okay, that's the uh, dis disadvantage of this one. But at least uh, we are getting a voltage, uh, that the, the voltage that we, we try to use. Okay, so from the ad, from the definition, uh, the input voltage or the output voltage could be greater than the input voltage. Okay. Oh, that's uh, a back boost converter adjustable. So this is very flexible. The maximum current uh, output of this one is 4 amperes. So actually... Uh, we could use this one to charge some uh, uh, batteries maybe uh, which requires uh, not so much current not so much current okay so this is a back boost converter this is very flexible so the next time around uh, I will be placing a load over here okay Supposing uh, I will try to power up a small transistor radio which requires, uh, what you call this, uh, maybe 6 volts. I could do that. I could do that. Uh, I will just uh, apply 6 volts there. Then I will try to adjust this one. Okay. I could adjust this one to go to 6 volts. Okay. So whatever voltage you need, okay, you can uh, attain it by just uh, rotating this uh, uh, potentiometer here. To decrease the output voltage, uh, you rotate the, what you call this, uh, rheostat here, counterclockwise, and if you want to increase, it should be clockwise, okay? So again, 
before we go for tonight, a backbow's converter adjustable is just actually a power supply or a DC to DC converter in which the output voltage could be higher than the input voltage and it could also be lower than the input voltage. Okay, uh, good morning from Los Angeles. This is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Uh, at least uh, we now know the concept of a back converter. Okay, good morning from Los Angeles.